What up, what up, what up? Happy Saturday, happy Saturday. Was good, was good, was good. Um, so doing another giveaway today. So doing another giveaway. Um, hope you guys have a phenomenal Saturday. Happy New Year to everybody. So if I can bring this gentleman on. How's everyone doing? And I'm doing a cash app giveaway to be entered into the giveaway. You guys got to share this video um, to at least 10 people to be entered in. I'm actually going to have uh, one of my partners view this and make sure you guys are doing this and drop your cash app name below to be entered into this contest. So it's like an airplane button below. You hit that button and share that to 10 people, 10 active people to tune into this live. And um, you're going to be I'm going to be choosing a random person, whoever followed the instructions. I go ahead and bless you guys with some money. I did this a week ago. I blessed two people and I bless a couple people um, with some free cash app money. So um, definitely send this to 10 people. Hit the uh, like button, show some engagement and then uh, we'll get it. We'll get it going. Super excited uh, for the Saturday, man. We're going to have a special guest. Uh, celebrity actually hop on his live. Uh, man, you got the celebrity just tuned in. Oh, oh, man, you can't see me real good. I got to move now. You got to see me. <laughs> look, look at the celebrity, man. We we got St. Louis in the building. Let me see, let, let, let me see if this angle is better for me. Man, I got to get a bang. You know, I got to look good that, with the light. That, that's, my guy, the that's, light. that's my guy, Mac. Uh, no, nah, man, look. So I just um, uh, met up with my boy Schreiber. We went to college together, and I haven't ah. seen since we graduated college in 2008. It's been a long time. Yeah, so he yeah. moved from Cali to Florida, and I was like, hold on, man. I got to see my boy. So I ain't seen my boy. We, we played soccer together for four years and so in college. And so um, I was like, so we just came here to link up Turkish tea. Man, this light, I mean, looking good, man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but well, that's what's up man uh man super excited man i had a celebrity on this this live right now man so you guys should be definitely excited as well uh this guy's a busy guy man he's all over the u.s one minute you in this state next minute you here you here i'm like man how, how do you man how do you do it man you, you need a private jet uh it's coming it's coming you need, be, you need to be like grant cardone man and have your own private jet well you know I'm scared of flying too, man. So if I have it, I don't know if I would use it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, you know what? I, I'll drive everywhere if I could. Oh, man. man. So, so, guys, before we I, get started, um, I want to give you guys an opportunity to be. Wait, going on? You got, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So, not to interrupt. Okay, so he, he, he is doing a cash giveaway. All you guys have to do is to share this video to 10 people. How many people? Have already shared this, guys. If you have shared it, type 10 in the chat. If you have already um, shared this to 10 people, put a 10 in the chat. And if you don't have Cash App, go ahead and drop whatever you got. Your Venmo, your PayPal. You know, his team members are on here. They're going to help you guys uh, get paid. But go Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, but, yeah, man, so send this to 10 people. Um, engage with the post. Like it. Show some love. And I'm going to choose a random winner. But you must be at the end of the live uh, to be selected. I'm going to choose... Uh, a few people um, to actually win. So uh, definitely stay tuned, stay into the, the ending of everything. So to be into them, but man, I'm just excited to be on here. And I was just thinking, man, we was, you know, linked up a couple of days ago. I'm like, man, just the freedom that we get to have, you know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, a lot of people can't experience that, you know what I'm saying? Um, because of their circumstances, because of what they have going on. But I mean, we have the liberty just to be able to have a time freedom, travel when we want to travel. We don't got to report to nobody wake up when we want to wake up you know we don't got to wake up to alarm if we don't want to and i just want you to kind of share your story you know what i'm saying because um for where you came from and where you at today man that's a powerful story you know awesome. i just want you to kind of share your story man uh thank you now first off you know i just have to give it back to you you know i appreciate you i mean like you a go-getter man you always grinding okay man i see st louis in the house okay <laughs> so um man you know what i mean like you done helped a lot of people walk away from corporate America, if that's what they chose to do. You didn't put people in uh, houses and cars and, you know, you didn't been a blessing to people. So just looking at you and you just 
you know, dedicated, you know, like you're always committed to your team. Like you don't care about the limelight. You just want to help put other people on. So I just appreciate you for that. No, but I no, appreciate it. Uh, my pleasure. So, you know, um, I was born in Haiti uh, when I turned seven. My dad brought us over to the U.S., you know, um, you know, uh, five people in a one bedroom house. So we were in St. Louis, Missouri. Who else is uh, from St. Louis on here? Put STL in the chat if you guys know what I'm talking about. St. Louis in the building. So we grew up in the city, you know, and, you know, my dad was always working in, in the factory, which allowed us to go to school and to learn English. So we taught them English and stuff like that. I done worked several jobs and, yeah, we struggled. We got evicted. When, when I had got on my own, my car got repossessed. So, I mean, I don't work crazy amount of jobs. I don't went to school, college, grad school. I just felt like I was uh, um, unemployable. I felt wow. like not for me, it's just, I just, I don't know. I just, I was doing minimal work trying not to get fired. Like, that was, <laughs> like, I didn't like. enough so you don't get fired. Yeah, I didn't like waking up at eight. You know, I'm like, I didn't, you know, like, how did they know that I got hungry at, at at 12 o'clock that just made me feel some type of way and yeah. so I do something different so when i was 19 i was introduced to network marketing and i thought for sure friends and family would like support me <laughs> but they were they were like man you went to college what are you doing with the scam what are you doing selling this selling that man you need to go get you a real job so my friends and family you know like they broke my heart because i thought for sure for sure they would be the first to support me but it was always complete strangers that would always support me and so um, you know, it just that this had to work for me. But my thing right. is, um, just like you, like I got people in Haiti where I, where I came from that are struggling. I right. can't be over here blowing money. I can't be over here just thinking that I got enough time coming. Like there are people out there with, with nothing to eat. There are people out there, if I don't send them money, they can't pay wow. their bills. They can't eat. Wow. So, so See, it's a lot of people depending on you. Bigger than me. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's bigger than me. So, I just, um, I mean, I tried several different companies. I mean, like, I mean, I tried a lot. I sold coffee. I sold water. I sold pills. And I don't even swallow pills. Like, I mean, I was just selling whatever that I could, any kind of products or services. You know, I was doing it because I wanted to, you know, be successful. So it took me a long time to be successful. People see me now, but they don't know that I paid the price somewhere else. Like, 100%. But, yeah. 100%, man. That's key. And you touch on something that's important. First off, you got a lot of people depending on you, right? Um, and I see someone ask a question. I'm going to let you answer this question. I'm going to, you know, you guys can ask questions. There's a question box below. Um, hit that question mark. You can ask your questions there. But this young lady, Cecil, said, where should I start? She said she's a, she lost her job. She's a single mom. Just lost her job. And where should she start and what should she do? And so if you, uh, first of all, uh, thanks for the question. You know, you lost your job, like, what are you going to do about it? Like, how soon are you going to move? Like, are you going to get another job? Or are you going to start your first job? So it's yeah. like, like, jobs are not really that dependable because I saw what happened at the pandemic. Now, I'm not against a job. I had to use a job to, you know, take the money from the job to invest in my business to, you know, to get to where I'm at. But I feel like you should try to own something. I mean, you got kids right now that are 17 on YouTube making millions kids yeah so it's like the age that we're in right now anybody can become successful anybody like you got youtube university anything you want to learn you don't even have to go to school anything yeah, yeah. you can learn it so you know I, I i would highly recommend trying to see something that you're good at right maybe yeah. you want a hookah line maybe you want to do her i don't know what you want now salon or a restaurant but i would recommend getting started um with this opportunity i mean you may or may not qualify so you got to check with eugene yeah but i would recommend getting started with this opportunity and then uh first of all you need credit like i know a lot of people that go through the program that fix their credit and then they go get funding i just seen somebody get a quarter of a million dollars all because they got good credit yeah. just think you can get your credit fixed and now you leverage your credit you got two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. you can start whatever businesses you want yeah and so that that job only got you to where you need it, but now you can start your own business. You can do e-commerce. You can sell clothes online. You can sell makeup. Whatever you wanted to do by fixing that credit will give you what you need so you can in, in, invest in you. But most people don't want to invest in, uh, in themselves. When, whenever they hear investment, they're thinking scam. 
Correct, correct. <laughs> Nothing free. Like, you got to invest in you. Like, why would somebody else invest in you if you don't invest into yourself? 100%, man. You touch on something that's important. A lot of times people don't want to invest into themselves. Um, and that's just crazy because aren't you worth it? That's what I think about. Like, you don't think you're worth an investment? Like, you, you, you doubt yourself. Like, who would do that? You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I highly encourage you guys. Oh. Definitely, you know, invest into yourself. And, you know, we, we definitely got a way you can work from home. A lot of people have been reaching out about that. So um, definitely send me an inbox. Um, text me. DM me the word already. And then that way I'll get back to you guys after this live is over. So hope he was able to answer your question. Um, I got, well, I mean, I hopped on this live, but, you know, I was already at the hookah lounge vibing. So, I mean, no disrespect. This is what, this is what but, I feel. But, but that just kind of show the freedom that you get to have when you're entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't got to report to no one. You can kind of do stuff when you want to. And you touched on something that was important. That kind of reminds me when I was working at 9 to 5. You touched on, man, I, I, I did enough. This song get fired. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really like going to work. And that was what it was for me because I'm like, man, I got tired of working 9 to 5 just to pay the bills. Right? I, when I mean I used to break the rules, I used to take two-hour lunches. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it supposed to be an hour lunch. I'll take two-hour lunches. You know what I'm saying? I called my coworker and be like, hey, look, punch me in real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I just take two hour lunches, but I didn't really like that job, but I did it just to pay the bills. But I said, man, I got to do something different. So I walked away from that job and did a nine to five. I, I did a, a business because, uh, again, you get to control your time, your income and things like that. But I mean, yourself, man, I mean, you was able to have a lot of success and then break a lot of records um, for where you came from because you mentioned you're not from this country and you have a lot of people that's actually born here and they give a lot of excuses. Right. They're complaining. They're not doing anything different, and you're able to kind of su surpass a lot of people, but uh, yet you're really, really humble. But what would you say for someone that's actually born here, you know what I'm saying, is not trying to level up? Because you're from a different country. You're born in Haiti, but you're here today, multiple six-figure earnings within our company, mentor thousands of people, uh, business revenue yearly, do millions a year in business. Um, now you had the time for you just to be able to travel, you know what I'm saying, and still earn income. But what would you say to somebody who was born here, giving excuses, and trying to go to the next level, what would you say to that individual? Well, first off, great question. And people know, and I'm super transparent, so I'm going to give it to you guys. <laughs> Most people are complacent, right? And I work with a lot of foreigners. Like, I work with a lot of foreigners. Like, I had a cleaning company, right? And I had a lot of foreigners work for me. And so when I talk to them, it'd be like, Sometimes it could be like five people living in one house or 10 people living in one house. Like they all like to work together. Like, yeah, you're saying like ain't no jobs, but McDonald's hiring. They just don't want that job at McDonald's. But somebody else that got nothing else to lose, they're going to work at McDonald's. But what I notice about most foreigners, some of the jobs, I mean, what people that also have my type of mindset, they're not thinking employment. They're thinking deployment. Any job that they get is temporarily. So when I got a job, I knew I had to get a job to pay some of my bills so I could do what I really wanted to do. But I wasn't going to be no damn employee. For <laughs> I was there like, they give me a 30 minute break or hour break. Sometimes it takes me 20 minutes just to decide what I want to eat. Then when I find a place, it's like 20 minutes away. I can't, right? right? So it's just like, but again, now, I met, so the good thing about jobs is that I met a lot of people. I networked with people. I got a lot of friends. So, it's, again, I'm not knocking on job, but I don't, I just believe that we should yep. never have to find us our goals and dreams, not to be employees forever. But it's just that most people are complacent. They're struggling, but they're not going to do anything about it. Like, when I was struggling, I wasn't even talking about it. Like, when I was telling people stuff, like, they didn't even know, I'm like, yeah, I was struggling. But during my struggle, I don't talk about it. I don't yeah. talk about it. I yeah. just, whatever I had to do, yeah. whatever we did it. Like, I mean, if we had to beg to get a ride, like sometimes I would go to work and I don't even have gas money to come back home. Yeah, wow. That's what I had to do. I had to, hey, I had to, I got, I got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. So but I had to do that for a long time. There was no shame. I had to do what I had to do. So, so many people, they're like, yeah, I'm struggling or whatever, but look. I had somebody that, that joined the team and they sold their washer and dryer to get started. It's wow. like, what the are you willing to sacrifice? Now, I gave up everything except for a Wi-Fi. 
offer up. I was selling things left and right, clothes. I'm selling shoes. I'm selling whatever I needed to do to come up with the money. I'm selling. Yeah. Like a homeboy called me today. Like man, the new Jordans are out. People never somehow new Jordans come out. They always got them. They broke. Them. <laughs> Can you loan me this? I ain't got it. New Jordans come out today. The new uh, yeah. ones, Jordan ones came out. They already got them. I yeah. haven't been all yet to go get them, but they already got them. But they were broke. Wow. So, so it's just that complacency, but it's that mindset. They want people to come out and save them. Ain't nobody came and saved me. Yeah, you got to participate in your own rescue. Exactly. So it's like people, people, trust me, you can't be in the U.S. struggling like that, right? <laughs> Homeless people are making a fortune. Like people that's out there begging are making a fortune. They, it's cold as hell, zero degrees in St. Louis. People still asking for money on the street. Guess what? They still getting the money. So it's like they doing whatever they got to do. So stop being complacent. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's key, you know, complacency. You know, people are lazy. Um, and you just got to, you know, figure it out. People always had the newest Jordans, but they're not willing to invest in themselves. They don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with get, getting those things, right? Getting nice things. But if you're in a bad situation, it doesn't make any sense to get all these Jordans, get all these shoes and clothes, and you're still broke. Let's be real. You're still broke. And I see it all the time. So, again, you, you got to make that sacrifice. What are you willing to give up to go to the next level? You know, what are you willing to sacrifice? And you made a lot of sacrifices in your life. But the other question I want to ask you, because, you know, I think that kind of was really important as well. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't go to the next level is because they really don't know their why or their purpose. And they don't have something to really motivate them to go out and then go get it. You know, so what, what's your why? You know, what pushed you? You know what I'm saying? Because, again, you know, sometimes all of us go through ups and downs, you know, a journey. Because you, you mentioned that you went through a lot that you went through as well. But what was your why to really go so, out there and, and take your life to the next level? My thing is, like, so my dad was a professional photographer in Haiti. So when he left Haiti, he came here. He was nothing. So none of his degrees were valid here. His photography, his schooling, none of that stuff was valid. We came here, we didn't even speak English. <laughs> so um, imagine life in a whole different country where you don't even speak the language. The only job you're getting is a, is a factory job, and there's nothing wrong with a factory job. I'm just trying to paint the picture like my dad sacrificed himself from going to school and college for him to better himself and to continue his education so that we could do it. So, you know, so, so stuff like that, I'm like, look, I don't want my like my dad was a cab driver for a long time. I don't want my dad driving no damn cab. Yeah. And no anybody driving a cab. You see what I'm saying? Like he got back problems. He's becoming obese. All of that stuff. I don't want that for my dad. Correct, you correct, know? correct. Like, and so I always wanted to be successful fast so I could retire my dad. Wow. Like I retire my mom. So like my dad don't work, my mom don't work. Wow. Like that that's what keeps me going but also i don't want my lady working that's just me you know i'm haitian so i 100%. got them and tell my spouse is not gonna work unless she chooses to i hope sure. she does you see what i'm saying <laughs> like i don't want to put my kids in daycare now i know other people like you maybe you have to start in daycare but that was my why so it's like anytime i didn't want to make that extra phone call where i didn't want to uh Call that prospects or go to that event. I was like, nah, man, because I kept thinking, nah, I want, I don't want my lady to work, I don't want my mom to work, I don't want my dad to work. Now I got two beautiful kids. I want my kids to experience a whole different life, man. These kids, man, they're on a plane every month. That, wow. But they know. You see what I'm saying? So I want my kids to have a way better life. Like where I grew up in St. Louis, I mean, it, it was violent. You see what I'm saying? Correct. But I, but I appreciate all those experiences, all those people that I met. I mean, I met a lot of people that we were struggling together. I, you know, yeah. so many came up together. So it's like now I got people in, in high places because we were struggling together, right? And so it's like whatever you were going through, like you got to know what are you willing to, to sacrifice. So I used to go out to the hookah lounge all the time. That was, that's my thing. That's how I, I like reward myself. But so yeah. I said, look, I can't go to the hookah lounge for the next 90 days. I love clubbing. People know me. I said, yeah. look, I can't hit the club for the next 90 days, right? I like going out to eat. Look, I can't go out to eat for the next 90 days. I love buying Jordans. You know, I'm trying to get every prayer. I'm close. Look, I can't buy no more Jordans for the next 90 days. Yeah. And like, those are the things I had to give up. And then my friends, man, my friends kept calling me, go play dominoes, let's go hang out, let's go do this. But it was not productive. It was going against what I was trying to accomplish. My friends, and I love my friends. Like, we super cool. 
but they, you know, we were just getting drunk, wasting our life. Like, we had nothing to talk about. <laughs> we wasn't talking about anything of substance. Correct. So if I had some money and I wanted, let's just say I had $10,000, my friends would probably tell me, let's go to the strip club. Let's go blow it this month. You see what I'm saying? Let's mm -hmm. go get feed. So it's like, but if you're going to get Jordans, why not get Nike stocks? So now I got a different group of friends. They're like, you ain't got no stocks? I'm like, nah. They're like, you, you, you got all these damn drawings, but no Nike stocks? So it's like, so that was a whole different conversation. I'm not right. like, stocks? They're like, well, I mean, if you're going, you buying the shoes, your friend's buying the shoes, so you already know it's a good stock. Why don't you have Nike stock? Correct. So I, you know, it's a just different friends. Just, you know, we just, we talk about different things. Like, instead of talking about other people, we're talking about ideas. 100%. A hundred percent, man. And that's key. I mean, um, you know, it's, I think it's a switch of the mindset, which is really, really important uh, for people. Because a lot of times they have that, 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 that poor mindset, you know, the broke mindset. And it's all about a, a law of association, all about who you hang around with. You know, you're trying to love what you can't hang out with the same group of friends. You was ignoring and calling. Look, I can't go out to the club this week because I got things I'm trying to do. And sometimes you got to cut certain people off when you're trying to level up and go to the next level. Right, you are the average of the five people you hang around with the most. So those you guys, you got you got to do a circle check. Like they're not about leveling up. They're not about trying to take your life to the next level. They're not on the same mindset that you are on. You may have to cut them off because you got places to go, and they may hinder you and pull you back or leave you in the same circumstances that you are in. So again, don't be afraid to make that sacrifice that's needed. It is what it is. But I'm telling you, those you guys watching this, make the sacrifice to be able to take your life to the next level. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a question here. Someone asked asked you. Um, and then I'm going to let you guys know the rules again to actually participate in this giveaway. Uh, what you guys got to do is make sure you send this to 10 people. You got to do a lot of engagement, hitting the love button, the like button. I'm actually having my team watch this as well. And we're going to choose a winner at the end of this live feed. So you got to stay on from now to the end of this live feed to actually be chosen. I'm going to choose a few people. Um, so you got to make sure you follow the rules. Drop your cash app name in the comment section. Send this to 10 people, share it to 10 people live, and then um, show some engagement on here as well. So they said, how long did it take you to get to where you at now in life? Okay, great question. I, I, I hope I'm sending this Tika. She's been engaging like crazy. She might be the person I pick, but uh, <laughs> I'm not picking, but, um, <laughs> but uh, first of all, um, great question. I've been in network marketing since I was 19, so I'm 35 now. So that's, was that 19 years? So you, you said you've been, you've been in network marketing since 19? No, 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 not 19 years. <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> <laughs> 16 years in July. J July 5th, 2000 wow. was when I started when I was 19. So it'd be 16 years. But uh, um, I was just reading something, so I said 19. But 16, it will, so 15 and a half years I've been doing this, meaning like, and, and I struggled a lot, right? I struggled a lot. A lot. So it's like, um, it's, it didn't happen overnight, but it happened overnight. Like I was, I went to so many events, but, but then I started reading books and I got around the right people. So like, um, you know, um, if you really think about this, right? Everybody wants to evolve. People want to level up, but you know, like it's the association of people like take a look at the last five text messages that you sent or received was it constructive like who the hell are you texting like what the hell are y'all talking about is uh, you are either growing or dying there's no in between so it's like my, my my text messages right now it's it's not like let's hang out what the hell is hanging out what are we doing so it's, it's all like we have fun but we get work done so it's like Elevation requires separation. There's so many of my friends that we we not cool right now. It's not that I'm acting funny because I'm making money. It's because like they still talk about stuff from a decade ago. Like they best life was ten years ago. Like my best life is ahead of me. So we are just on different goals. Like they blowing money on clothes and stuff like that. Yeah, you can do that, but you can't spend your last on clothes. Like it has to be invested. So when I spend money, it's like how can I get a return on my investment, right? How can I spin into an opportunity? Like you got, okay, yesterday I heard, so everybody and their mama probably received a, a stimulus check. What are you doing with that? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. got big pay. 
like when I have my rent, man, I skip my rent. I'm like, uh uh. Because I'm like, I'm going to pay my rent this month. I'm already behind. I'm going to pay it next month. I'm going to be behind probably. Why not, I, why not take a chance on me? Use that money, make it work so I can pay my rent and now have a business. So yeah. it's like, it's just like so many people, like they want you to do good. Like they want to see you do good, but never better than them. So I had to realize, like, I got friends and family members right now that don't like me. And people know, like, I don't stunt. I'm not flossing money. Like, you know, I dress up like a regular person. I mean, my, <laughs> sh my shoes. Like the shoe game on another level, bro. Like, it's somebody's more, but shoes. different story. You know, that's somebody's <laughs> mortgage. But, but other than that, I mean, I I'm not showing off money or, or, like, anything like that. But it's just that we just do, like, if for things to change, you have to change. People are complaining, but they're doing the same thing. Like, look at your yeah. actions. Look at your daily method of operation. Like, what are you doing daily? You're not even reading. You're not, um, what, like, I get up, man, every day. I'm like, okay, I got to learn something new because I got to go live today. So I got to talk about something different. So I'm either reading a book, listening to an audio, or I'm talking to people that got what I want. That's Those are my personal development. Like, who are, so that's why if you look at the last five cars you had, was it constructive? Look at your car log. Who the hell are you talking to? Now take yeah. a look. At your damn bank account. Like, I was always negative. I was, man, my overdraft every day, every, <laughs> every week. But then again, it was the people that I was hanging out with. And then my phone, some months it'd be cut off, some months it'd be cut on. And then so it, it wasn't until I got around mentors and they were like, hold on, you would like, what the hell you mean your phone is cut off? Yeah, yeah, man, my phone cut off. They're like, you can't be a man with your phone cut off. You should never let your phone be cut off. Like, you are missing opportunities. You are blocking wow. your blessings by having wow. your phone. Like, one phone call could change your life, but your damn phone is off. I'm like, damn, I never thought about it that way. Sometimes I thought it was, you know, I didn't have the money, so people couldn't reach me, so I couldn't spend more money, so it was cool. But I had to change my perspective, right? And so that just, that just it just, again, for things to change, you have to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you touched on a lot of things, man. The people are loving it, man. They're like, man, hey, man, preaching, come on. He's, he's a wise man. Uh, man, they, they loving it. They they loving it, bro. They loving it. Um, you touched on something you, that's key. Uh, and it made me think about the higher the risk, the higher reward. You know, you know, not paying that bill to invest to kind of get you ahead. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're always behind, you got to do something different. You know what I'm saying? So think about this, guys. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. Again, you got to take risk in life. No risk, where do you expect to go? A lot of times people are playing small. You know, you got to get uncomfortable, you know, and um, that's something that's really, really important. So let me go ahead and take another question. You guys can ask your questions below in the question box. Below is a question mark. You hit that, type your question, and we'll pull it up and, and, and get it answered. Um, so I'll, I'll bring this up for... Like somebody said, man, I love paying bills. Oh my God. I love paying bills because when you got it, like, man, I woke up today feeling so blessed. I mean, that would it just like, wow, man, it just I just feel good. I'm healthy. Uh it, you know, family's doing good, friends are doing great. I'm like, man, that's what makes me feel good. Like when people in my circle are doing good and better than me, oh man, that stretches me, right? Cause then I'm like, man, all right, because like if you're doing good, I'm doing good. Ain't, ain't nobody hating over here. I want you to do so well because that's going to stretch me. Because we're talking about different things now. We're talking about ownership. You know, like, you just told me, why don't we get a condo down here? You see what I'm saying? My friends yeah. would have been like, hey, strip club's open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Nothing with the strip club, but you can't be investing. I mean, blowing your last. Like, think about, like, the friends I had early on. We'll take a whole paycheck, take it to the strip club. Yeah. Gone. And then and then we can't eat tomorrow. Now we eat noodles, right. a la menu, where we just blew a whole check. Crazy. And invested into something like if you think about like tax season right now, like so many people, like the average person gonna get from two to seven thousand. If twenty five of us got an average of four to five thousand, do you know what damage we could do? We could buy the block. Yeah, we could have come together. We could have like we could buy those uh, those those messed up houses that's in our own neighborhood. We could start a restaurant. There's so many things that we can do. Correct, correct. Um, and that's key. But people have the scarcity mentality, right? They're not trying to come together and, and build. Uh, so that's something that's important. You know, definitely invest your money. 
question. So I have bad credit. So best advice for somebody with bad credit, okay? See, people don't care about credit until they need it. Like, I had bad credit all my life. All my life I had bad credit. <laughs> but then I wasn't using none on credit. Like, my friends, like, we were buying cars cash. Like, I bought four Impalas at one time, all cash. Like, like we just, but that's what we were doing. But again, my actions and my behavior were dictated based on my, my circle of influence. Like, if I got 10 grand, my friends like, oh, man, go buy you that new Impala. Go buy you this. So, I mean, we just buy Chevys like crazy. But but that's what we were doing. Like, we were trying to impress other people. That's what we were doing. Like, we yeah. fly, have no jobs. Like, we ain't got no job. We ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> but, again, we have to change it. So, um, my credit score was a 408. Wow. Like, I can say that loud, but back then, no, nobody knew. Man, I walked around like I had excellent credit. I didn't even know nothing about credit. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I had student loans, repossession, and judgment. So it's like, you got to get that thing fixed. Here, here's my first question to you guys. Would you invest in you? If you would, type yes in the chat. That's a great question. Most people won't invest in themselves. Like, you got to fix your credit. You got to fix your credit in the state of uh, Texas. If you got a 700 plus credit, you can get up to a million dollars, $2 million worth a lot of credit. $2 million wow. just by having wow. access. So it's like, why would you not want to fix your credit? So it's like, um, I, I remember um, the first five people that got started with me. Let me pass the hookah before I get put out. But <laughs> the first five people that got started with me, they, they fixed their credit and all five of them they each got $100,000 in line of credit. Guess what they did together? They started a construction company. They started a cleaning company. And they started a restaurant all together. And guess what they did? All five of them live in the same house. And uh, what they did, they got one person, help him get a car, help her get a car. And then they, like, they waited until now they got five cars. And then what they did as business was growing, uh, one person, they helped them get their own place. Now they moved out. Yeah. Four. Then they had helped the next person get their own place. Where where I grew up in St. Louis, shoot, when, when we turned 18, we, we were trying to get our own place because we wanted to be cool for girls and stuff like that. Like <laughs> to, to tell somebody, no, I live with four or five people. Now, nah, like these people did a sport. Yeah. They bought cars that they didn't have to buy on credit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now they own those cars. Or yeah. if they had credit, now they can buy a ten thousand dollar car if 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 that's what they want. Payments like two hundred dollars for a car note. Wow! So it's like you got people out here paying more than me, and I got a really nice car, but they paying more than me on a car note mm. to impress other people that don't care about that. Wow, that's crazy. Everybody buying land. Think about that. Like everybody's renting. You know, I mean now. You know, I mean, uh, you you want to buy something, like I mean, you gotta buy something. I mean, that, that, that just, you gotta buy something. Yeah. Right? So, what do you and your family like to do? Buy it. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Um, and that's key. So, I mean, a lot of you guys, you know, look like you probably need help with credit. You guys, ask how you guys get started with the credit? Um, you guys are watching this, you need help with your credit. You want to take your credit to the next level? Um, send me a DM. DM me the word credit. Uh, credit repair, and um, I'll get back to you. You know, me and myself and my team uh, will get to you. Uh, if you need help with your credit, DM me, message me the words credit repair. I see a lot of people asking about that, how to get started. Uh, send me an inbox, credit repair will, will help you. So, um, but yeah, so I definitely, uh, that's key. And, you know, credit can even get you, you know, stuff that you want, stuff that you need, but stuff that you want if you use it the right way because you get to leverage it. And I mean, you was able to do some phenomenal things with your credit as well. It's like you got your dream cars. Uh, we all know, I guess your favorite number is eight. <laughs> um, you got that. Get the eight, eight, eight. Eight. But you know what that does for people that grew up with me? Yeah. Like, damn, Coach Legend made it. Because, like, I mean, we don't know too many people that got an I-8 in St. Louis. If, if, if they're not hockey players or drug dealers or movie stars or whatever, we don't know too many people that got it. Not that I'm bragging or boasting. But see, it's not about me. Like the stuff I do is to show people that it can be done. If I can come here and English is my second language,
you grew up here, all your friends here, you went to grade school, middle school, high school, whatever school, you work all these damn jobs. So you know all these people. So you had a higher chance of hustle than I did. Do it. Don't. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't. I do say, you know what? Like me, I like to be motivated. Like I like to motivate people. When I see somebody doing something like, like, damn, my homegirl just just got a G wagon. Guess what I said? Well, I'm about to go get me a G wagon. My homeboy just got a lamb truck. Guess what I said? Well, I'm about to go get me a lamb truck. Not to show off, shit. It's a tax write off. I already know we about to make so much money this year anyway. So that's a tax write off. But most people don't even understand different tax brackets or tax write off. They might think people are trying to show up. No, that's a that's that's a tax write off. There's a purpose. It's used for inspiration, but it's used it's really used to back off with, with the taxes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like you yeah. got. And that's that's key. A lot of people don't really understand that. Um, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, you get write-offs. You know, when you're W-2, you don't get none of that. <laughs> Whatever your W-2 is, you file your taxes, that's what you get. But as an entrepreneur, you can write things off. Um, and that's one of the key things. You get a lot more benefits by being an entrepreneur. So uh, definitely, definitely uh, something, you know, you guys would definitely get situated, get your credit in order. You know, whatever you guys need to do with your credit, get a house, get a new vehicle, you get the best interest rate. Again, as adults, you know, we, we Paul wasn't taught anything about credit. That's cool, right? We could blame that on the school system. Um, right? There's over 100 million Americans with credit issues. But now, as an adult, there's information out there, solutions out there for you. You got to fix what you're ashamed of. You know, no more excuses, especially in 2021. Um, May I say something? Go ahead. Thank you. And uh, also for somebody that, like, let's just say people want to fix up their body. Instead of dropping that ten thousand dollar cash, you fix your credit. You can get that stuff done on credit. So it's like I rather I rather be in a business that's a necessity. Like people need credit. You can't live in the U.S. without. You're not gonna make like. I think the new dating apps, you know, uh, will will have to have credit. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn. So they're gonna cut a lot of people out. So fellas, man, if you don't get the credit right, man, you're gonna be single for the rest of your life. Hey, I, uh, <laughs> hey the first thing I'm asking, what's your credit score? Uh, <laughs> nah, you gotta go. So that's <laughs> me and then vice versa. Uh, you got credit. Ain't nobody playing with your messed up credit in 2021. Nah. Uh-uh. But but then also, like my kids, when they turn 18, they're gonna have 800 credit scores at 18. So like the I grew up with in St. Louis when they turn 18, like they needed credit repair. You turning 18 and you already got a light bill on your name. Like we got to break it. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, people have so many kids. So it's like, I understand people struggle, but man, damn. So it's like, you shouldn't be 18 where you already need credit repair. Yeah. The, the parents going to put in their name, you know, I put it, put a cable bill in, 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 in uh, the kid's name. Newborn three months. We use the social. Now they, uh, you know, now he already got bad credit at three months. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. He can't even say hi yet. He got bad credit. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Oh, man, we, we got to do better, man. We got to do better. Got to do better. Um, got to break the generation curse. Someone just mentioned that. So you're absolutely right, Gazelle. Um, so what I want the other person to ask, which is a great question. I'm about to ask you this. What would you tell someone because we see how 2020 was, man. 2020 was a crazy, crazy year. You know what I'm saying? Really crazy. Uh, but also, it was a good year for people. It was a bad year for some people. But 2020 was actually a good year for some people. Um, and even with us, I think it was one of the best years that we had um, in history, you know, within our team and everything like that. So the person asks, what is the advice for people in 2021? And her name first, is Aurelis Jordan. Great question, by the way. First of all, uh, everybody, you know, just, just, you know, pat yourselves on the back, right? Just give yourself a huge round of applause just for being here because uh, uh, your attention is everything. Like, you got people on, like, watching World Star viral fights all day. Like, you got to think that stuff is going into your subconscious mind. So whatever you focus on grows. So what I focus on is, like, helping people. Like, like for 2021, you can't be struggling. Like, money should not be an issue anymore. You got to, like, let that go. Yeah. You got to find a way. You got to 
position yourself to be around people. Like you guys are following all these damn people on social media. Reach out to them. Hey, how you doing? Congratulations on all your success. How did you get where you at? I need help. I need a mentor. This is what I'm trying to accomplish. Like, have a business plan. What are you trying to do with your life, right? So again, money. You should not have money issues. If you're struggling right now, it's a new people. Credit. You should not have credit issues, and you gotta have a damn investment. You you gotta be thinking goals. Like, what are your goals? Like me, I wanna just, just so you guys understand. My goal for this year, 2021, I want to personally help uh, mentor 5,000 people get get started with their own credit repair franchise. That's my goal for 2021. I'm stretching myself. For um, for uh, in terms of customers, clients wise, my personal goal is to help 10,000 people sign up for credit repair uh, through me. Now these are personal goals, not team goals. Also. I want to help 500 people walk away from corporate America this year. Like 500 people that are part of my team, donate their job back. Just donate it. Like, look, I'm done with it. Just donate it back. And so, but also, I want to help create six and seven figure earners. Now, it's it's not about money thing, right? Like, if I was doing bad, if I was how, because like at first, you know, I was broke and broken. I was so wow. broke. I couldn't be on this live. I couldn't be on this live with you. Like, how can I be motivating you and inspiring you and, and, and I'm struggling real bad? You see what I'm saying? That's, I, I couldn't be chilling like this. I would be at, at a job somewhere. Like, I was selling cars for like half my life, working 70, 80 hours a week. Think about that. Now, again, it's not here to give you a, a sad sob story. I worked every Saturday of my life. Now, if people that know me know I love the party. I love to have fun. I love to go to the hookah lounge. Guys, could you imagine what life would look like if you missed every single Saturday of your damn life? Like, how much wow. can I give that up? I can't miss day parties. I can't miss weddings. I can't miss get together. Man, I'm missing all of my friends' events. Like, my mentor say, Coach, one thing I would tell you, do your best to not miss the event. So if it's somebody's birthday, somebody's wedding, like, I'm going. I got to get there. I got to get there. So I put myself in uncomfortable positions so I can get there. So my advice for you, fix what you're ashamed of, fix your damn credit, find a way, and, 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 and stop being lazy. You got to stretch yourself. Like, we got 24 hours in a day. You're going to give a damn job eight hours of your time, eight hours. But you won't give your business eight hours. You barely give your business eight minutes. You know what I'm <laughs> it's like, if I'm going to give a damn job, and again, people know I'm not bashing no jobs. But how the hell can you give a job eight hours, but when it's time for you to do your business, like, you don't give your business eight eight hours like that. What if you give your job eight hours, which is cool. You give your business eight hours. You can sleep for eight hours. We good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, see, even when I was sick, I was working on my business. So when I had a job, even when I was sick, I still had to go in. I couldn't even afford to miss a paycheck. That thing would mess up my whole week. <laughs> <laughs> This day I mess up my whole week. So I went to work when I was sick, but I wouldn't do it for myself, for my job, for my business. Oh, oh man, this is good. I might have to promote you. Look at the <laughs> banana smoothie I just got right here. Look at that. They gave me a whole thing. He must know me or something. Oh, wow. They gave you a whole, uh, whole picture. Man, look. look how they bring me, man. I feel like you, I'm back you, home. You, somewhere, man. I mean, you're a celebrity, so they got to take care of the celebrity. You feel me? So they got they got to take care of the celebrity. <laughs> Um, uh, yes. Yeah, so, so hopefully that was able to answer your question, Jordan, you know, um, you know, fix what you're ashamed of, you know, have some goals in line for what you're looking to do. Uh, read personal books. development. Read, exactly. Read some book, personal, uh, you know, development. Who, who are you listening to? So what I want to do right quick. So, so I'm about to uh, uh, switch gears for a quick second, if it's okay. Cause I got uh, my book here with me now. Uh, now mind you, you know, he went to school with me. So he knew we were dead broke in school, struggling. Like, so we were just talking about that, struggling. He done join me at other, you know, ventures. We didn't do good, didn't make no money, but yet he's here with me now. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to introduce my boy Schreiber. Like, this is my good friend. Like, you know, to me, like, you know, like I'm big on friendship. So, um, like, so I'm about to, you know, uh, uh, ask him, like, uh, basically, why did he get started with me? Why does he think credit is important? 
and why does he think like being um, free is is important for him? So I'm about to switch this right here. Can you see this? <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Eugene. What up? What up? What up? What's How's up, going, man? Sir? My name is Dan, man. I I follow you. We're, you know, uh, meeting up with Hanzo. I haven't seen him since 2008, man. And uh, I follow a couple of you guys uh, on the top, man. I follow yourself. And uh, I appreciate you guys for sure. Um, but to answer Hanzo's question, man, I mean, boy, we were we went to school in the country, man. I mean, I'm from St. Louis. You know, we, we rappers, man. But, man, we went, we went to school in the country, played for a terrible soccer team, man. Like, wow. Uh, you know, as far as credit, man, I, you know, I had reached out to Hanzo uh, at the beginning of last year, January. It's been a year since I've been with you guys. And, uh, you know, my wife and I were, we had already planned to move back to South Florida. We uh, reside here in Boca now. But, uh, you know, we were ready to buy a house. And, uh, you know, I had, I had some student loans on there. Uh, collection. She had a collection. And uh, I think she had a medical bill. But, um, man, I, you know, I, I had hopped on some webinars with Hanzo before and told him, uh, you know, my testimony. Uh, I think about within 45, you know, it was about 45 days. Like, it was quick, you know, as we tell all of our clients, between 45, 90 days, you know, we start seeing results. But I got three student loans removed, man. Student loans? Uh, student loans. Charge wow. up. I mean, I'm still liable for the debt, but, you know, that charge off, it was huge. It was huge for me. Wow. Uh, my wife got a collection removed. I'm still battling, I'm still battling one, one late payment from, from a long time ago. But, I mean, we're, we're going through the process. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's how I got going. And, you know, I told him I was, you know, I was working at the airport out in San Diego. And uh, I saw what, it, you know, coming from, from Culver where we went to school, to where he was now i mean i went to a bunch of events with him that was back when he was selling coffee and i mean i don't you know whatever whatever else he was doing but yeah we've always kept okay. contact and uh, i mean credit's something you always got to need man i mean it's Correct. so vital it's so important guys um i mean just for example like when my wife and i and i have two small sons we moved from San Diego to here to South Florida about four months ago. And uh, I didn't have proof of income. I mean, I, you know, I'm an agent with you guys. But I didn't have proof of income. Place wow. here, and, it, and my credit, was, you know, it's decent. It was decent. It's good. I mean, I have a little bit of utilization, but um, that's another advice. I mean, just watch your card. You got <laughs> you to you keep your utilization down. So what I was getting at, I mean – they wouldn't take they wouldn't take six six months so we didn't have you know we lost our jobs due to COVID. We couldn't put down six months cash. Damn. Some places here weren't taking twelve months cash. So sign a lease. Six months cash. Cash money. I wow. mean we didn't have proof of income. Decent credit. There was a couple couple little marks that were still working, you know what I mean? But anyways, I mean, I, I can just stress, dude, like it's your credit is so, so important. Correct. Correct. These stimulus checks, tax refunds are coming. Invest in yourself. I mean, correct, just correct. read, read, read some good books, personal development, personal finance, invest in yourself, pay down debt. I mean, it's so important, guys. It's not even funny. Like, you can do so much damage to leverage your credit to gain financial freedom. It's not even funny. Um, 100%, 100%. But, Eugene, I mean, I, I follow you, brother. I never met you in person. <laughs> I, 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 I hope you someday, man. You have we'll to definitely link. We we'll we'll definitely link, man. So, so I can do. Where do you live? We're in uh, Boca, Boca Deer. Oh, you're in Boca. Okay, so you're in Boca. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm in Tampa, so I got family down in Boca as well. So I'll, I'll be down there from time to time. We can definitely link up. Yeah. Um. So I'm here in Florida as well. Um. So yeah, man. Thank, thank, definitely appreciate you sharing some advice, um, to the audience and giving some insight. Absolutely. Um. Definitely appreciate that. So again, I mean, if you guys need credit help, uh, DM me the words credit repair. 
I mean, inbox me the words credit repair. Um, myself and my team will re reach out to you and we'll help you guys give you some info on how to build your credit, how to take it to the next level. Um, so if you need help with the credit, send me a DM, credit help, and I will definitely be able to get you guys assisted. So, but, uh, but did you hear? Six, they wouldn't even take six months worth of cash, a, a year uh, worth of cash for the lease. You guys see why credit is important? They wouldn't even take the nine. So it's like, Man, that just that just crazy, right? That that just speaks volume, you know. It's like how credit is important. And so again, when when people talk about you know my friends now and the success, like I done dragged him in other things I was doing, right? No success. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, um, you know, there are certain friends that will invest in you. So we like I always had all these friends, but they never supported me, right? And so yeah. Uh, like they never supported me, but yeah. So uh, the question you got here, absolutely. Like I stated, if you can give your job eight hours, why not give your business eight hours? So again, most people, you got to understand too, like we are preconditioned. When we were in grade school and middle school, I think it was like from six to two. So everything was already in six hour increment, I mean, in eight hour increments. You know, high school, the classes were in eight hour increments. And then in college where you got to choose your little schedule, but here's the thing is that we're so, if it's not a job, sometimes you could have your blessing. Like you could be praying for something, but because it's, 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 it's not disguised as a job, you don't go for it. You see what I'm saying? And so that's why I love opportunities because like I donated my job back because I felt like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just like, I'm at a level right now with, with, with my job. I couldn't give back. Like here we are giving money away every day. I couldn't do that with, with a job. I, I would be needing the money right <laughs> and so it just it just i mean i felt like i always been i've been here to be used as a vessel because service to many leads to greatness so i want to see correct, how many, correct power how many people can i get to be better than me and i ain't trying to keep nobody down i want people to be the best around me because that's going to help me grow you know again correct. what you focus on grows and then who you hang around has a huge uh impact on 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 what you become so with me it's always like impact over money i want to impact so many people's lives like you know what coach because of you i kept going like there are so many people that inspired me like people like you and dan like people went through a lot of hardship yeah. I, I don't yeah. have like the best sob story right like there's a lot of people I and mean, then you're gonna have people that's gonna come on your live talking negative like they could have been anywhere else but they're gonna come on here and be negative like just so just just so you guys can understand about you know about people so now nah, man this opportunity just changed my life i mean yeah man i mean i wake up every, i mean i wake up when i'm done sleeping yeah like yeah and i ask this all the time like okay guys when was the last time that you woke up when you were done sleeping if you were laid off how did that make you feel what are you going to do about that are you going to use that as motivation or are you just going to be like down they laid me off. Like, what are you going to do with it? So sometimes I feel like a job, it could be a hindrance because I got so much potential, but potential is not enough. So I felt like um, I had to be uncomfortable. Like the only time you grow is when you are uncomfortable. So I had to put myself in position. I'm like, you know what? Take this job. Even though I had no income yeah. coming in, look, this shit has to work. It had to work. So I put myself in position where I had to flourish. I didn't want to rely on a job or have a safety net. I'm like, nah, man, forget it. Keep your job, I'll figure it out. So when I put myself in places like that, it helped me become more creative and creativity wins. Wow, and that's that's real. You know, that's really, really real. Um, if someone said thank you for mentoring them, um, you you know, you kept them going, you inspired them every day. So uh, that's right. phenomenal. Um, so yeah, absolutely. You can work a nine to five and, and still work this business, right? Um, and a lot of people that want to start a business, but they don't know where to go. Um, so we have a system, a blueprint to help you take things to the next level. Uh, you could be a referral partner with us. And if you're willing to invest to yourself, if you're coachable, that's really, really important. If you're coachable, uh, send me a DM. DM me the words ready, and I might get to you. And also, you got to be willing to invest into yourself, right? Uh, if you're not willing to invest into yourself, you're not coachable, don't send me an inbox, right? Don't waste your time, my time. Um, but if you are ready to change your life, take your life to the next level, um, coachable, want to get your finances in order, get your credit in order, and you want to take your income to the next level, DM me the words ready, 
and we'll go ahead and have a conversation and see if you qualify um, to be on our team. So definitely, definitely key. So uh, Giselle, I'm definitely going to uh, respond to you. You wanted to hear some some more, but you was giving some great insight, man. You gave like a whole blueprint. I was watching your comment, Giselle. You gave a whole blueprint on 2021, different things you should be doing. Let me see if I can pull up and read her comment. Like she, she went in. Um, so I'm going to actually bring this up, Giselle, and it, it sounds like you got a great mindset. You, it probably sounds like you're already an entrepreneur. Um, let me see if I can pull this up. But you had a great insight. She said, straightforward, she said, look, for 2021, people need to start addressing things they feel ashamed of, take accountability, start addressing what holds you down, surround yourself with people who inspire you, God always first, then put in the footwork. Bro, I love that. That last sentence, God always first, and then put in the footwork. And that, that made me think about faith without work is dead. Right, because a lot of times people have all the faith, but don't want to put no work behind it. They say, "Yeah, man, I want to do this. I want to do this, but I don't do nothing. Nothing. I want to take my life to the next level. But what are you doing?" Right. So again, faith without work is dead. Um, you got to put the work in. Got to put the work in. Um, good stuff, man. Good stuff. And um, let me take one more question. Uh, let me see. Let me take one more question here. Mm, let me see let me see you guys can ask questions. there's a question box below i'm gonna go ahead and kind of go over the rules really quick and i'm gonna give you guys a chance to ask another question why we got the celebrity on here um right now you know what I'm saying he's at the lounge chilling uh, um, vibing right now once he got the hookah he, he vibing. Yeah. he's good yeah. he's good <laughs> So, I mean, everywhere we go, man, I, know we, I think we went to Georgia one time and we went to a hookah spot. Um, I think it was in LA or Vegas somewhere. If, but, if, uh, man, you gotta make a hookah line stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I gotta find a hookah spot, man. So, um, but that's 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 dope. But but um, but yeah, let me go over the rules really quick. So the rules that be entered into the cash giveaway. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up, select the winner here shortly. Um, to be entered into the contest. You got to share this video, live video, to 10 people. So you want to hit the error button below. It look like an airplane. Send that to 10 people. That's active right now. So send this video to 10 people right now. I'm actually having my team uh, following this to make sure that you guys are following the rules. And then secondly, you got to engage with the post. You got to show the hit the love button, right? And then drop your cash app name below um, in the comment section. And I would go ahead and we'll go ahead and select the winner, whoever follow all those rules. So go ahead and do that right now so you guys can be entered into the contest. And whoever following the rules, I'm going to go ahead and select an individual, probably a few individuals. And um, bless you guys. Um, so also, so you guys can ask your question. There's a question mark below. Ask your last question. I'll pull up a question, get your questions answered. Um, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up here. But, but again, man, it, this is exciting. You know, this year, I'm just excited, man. We're going to do so many phenomenal things, man. We're going to take things to the next level. Uh, my goal, really quick, was I said, look, man, I want to touch two, two M's. I want to do two million uh, this year in earnings. And I said, look, I'm going to set me a huge goal. And, and what I was thinking about, look, man, it's not just about the money. It's about the person I'm going to become, earning that type of income. And then also people I'm going to be able to bless, people that's on my team, We'll be able to help take their life to the next level, help their family go to the next level, um, and then also be able to give more, make an impact. You know, I was reading this book earlier today, and it's a book called The Science. And somebody was asking about a book. You guys should grab this book here. It's called The Science of Getting Rich, right here. It's by, um, it by? It's by Wallace Waddles, The Science of Getting Rich. I'm giving you guys some free game. Right. And it talks about fixing your mindset on becoming rich, but making for a bigger purpose. And because if you, you want to help the poor, you got to have money. So a lot of times people say, look, people say, look, um, money is the root of all evilness. It's not. It's the evil people that have the money. They'll probably do bad things or they'll do bad things to get the money. Because understand, people that don't have money, what do they do? They rob the banks. They do robberies. They do crimes because they don't have money. Right? When people have money, they're not doing those type of things. They're looking to bless other people. So what it talks about is fix your mindset on abundance. Don't focus on the negativity. Don't focus on, man, this person is poor. Focus on, focus on the money, and then now you can help that poor person, if that makes sense. 
And this is why you want to have income. This is why you want to be wealthy. This is why you want to level up because of the impact that you'll be able to do at the end of the day. So that's one of my goals that, look, I want to do two M's this year. And it's about the person I'm going to become, the people that I'm going to be able to bless, paying it forward. But then that would not happen if I didn't take a chance on myself and invest into myself, right? So um, you got to be able to invest into yourself, take a chance, make that sacrifice, um, be willing to make that sacrifice to be able to get it done. So let me pull up this last question and we'll go ahead and wrap up here. And this is a, this other question here, this is a great question. This is a great question here. So I'm not going to pull up this question right here. I'm going to let you answer this question here. If you see the question. Great. Uh, first of all, great question. So is it okay to cut family off if they're hindering you? Absolutely. So like I told my family, look, I'm going on a 90-day run. We probably won't see me. You probably won't be talking to me for the next 90 days. You got to be laser-focused, tunnel vision. Because, again, like, sometimes the family members are distractions. Again, like, it's like, what? how are they serving you? Now, I'm not saying to hate on your family or whatever, but it's some, it, in reality, it's the people that's close to us that can hurt us, that can harm us, that can make us feel bad and sad. So, look, like, I got family members right now very unhappy for my success, and I don't even think that I have made it yet. So, again, it's just that they feel some type of way because it's not them. Let's say that they used to be the one that have the money. They used to be the one that dress fly. Now, when I come around, they feel some type of way. So, it's like, but also, family member, it could be a distraction. So, if you have a goal, like... Like, I can't be going out this weekend celebrating. Like, what am I celebrating? Being broke? Like, I got to focus on my goals. Like, sometimes it's good to say, F it. Let me stay in. Let me stay in. Let me learn another skill set. Let me read another book. Let me learn more value. Let me create a content. Let me create a video, right? And so, again, it's just sometimes, like, the family could be the distraction because this is your vision. And so they may not understand. So when I was so you got to understand, like, sometimes, like, they mean well, right? But they don't know what they don't know. Because you got to see from your perspective, they're like, legend, right? Legend. You went to college. What the hell are you doing fixing credit? I said, uh, do you realize that fixing credit or being in this line of work, like what I used to make in a year, I made that in a month. Now we make that in a week. We're going to make that in a day. You see it's like, why would I listen to them? Because they don't know what they don't know. They can only teach me what they know. And most people are not growing, so they only know old stuff. Again, they, they, they mean well, but they don't know what they don't know. They can't teach me what they don't know. Like, like my parents, they can teach me how to get a job, but they can't teach me how to run a business. No faults to them. Again, they're trying to help me because they're like, look, you went to college. You invest the time. We had to work, you know, because me, I had to get a parent plus loan. That's how bad we were doing. So my parents had to sign up on an additional loan for me to make it to school. So I understand that they invested in me. So they don't want me to go and try something because they're like, why would you be doing something that you didn't need a diploma for? Why did you go get the damn diploma? Well, I know people right now that got a diploma that's doing Uber. No shade on Uber. They're driving cab. <laughs> cab. <laughs> They're in a different field than what they went to school for. I know people that got a diploma that works at McDonald's. No shade on that. But I just want you guys to understand, like, you know, like those people. But again, you, you need that. You need that negativity. Life is not always good. You know, I was telling somebody like, yesterday, like, there were times where I was doing so bad. Like, my lady had to go and give blood. Plasma, they call wow. it. You see what I'm saying? Like, wow. When you think about so that's why like all the people that I struggle with are the people that, that I'm eating with because they were with me when I was struggling. There are times I man my man my my homeboys we were wearing each other's shoes we were wearing <laughs> each other's clothes that's how it's like I can't um uh you want to say something oh man my boy want to say something oh hold on <laughs> what's up guys what's up Eugene man what up what up what up back in i don't want to i don't want to waste your time but uh so when my wife and i moved here from cali to south florida we upended i mean we were planning pre-covid right uh our lease was ending out there and we we're getting ready to move back 
I had the wheels in motion with FES, right? I had the wheels in motion. I hit field trainer. I, I'm feeling good, you know. I'm on the webinars nightly. I, I got leads coming in daily, um, running ads, everything, everything. I lost it. I lost it all. It took us 11 days to get out here with a three-year-old and a, a newborn, right? So I'm back at square one, right? Things are rolling again right now a little bit. If anybody's on your on your live right now and they're thinking about quitting, my advice to them is just because I thought about quitting, you know. I knew Hanzo was in gotta connect with him. I gotta connect with my boy. We talked all the time throughout the <laughs> over the phone and and whatnot and, and this last year with with webinars, with this and that, he bring me on with my testimony and, and my results and this and that. I thought about quitting. He just kept telling me, if you stick and stay, you'll get your pay. So if, anybody, if anybody's on here that's thinking about quitting, I mean, for real, I, w I was just like done. I was like, man, am I going to talk to my boy again? Like, I was like, I, I, it, qu it crossed my mind. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, shit, am I going to? I don't even know if I want to do this. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. Now I'm studying for my realtor's license. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that to the portfolio. I'm going to, I mean, so I just wanted to chime in and say that real quick. Because yeah, no, I appreciate about, that. I thought about quit, man. Like I was I appreciate like, that. It, just because of moving cross country, it took a lot out of me. With two kids, wow. you know, I lost traction. It dropped me down. You know, I, I took care of my clients and the agents that I had. I lost some agents. This and that, but uh, I just wanted to ch chime in and. Uh, no, I, pre I, I appreciate that. Uh -huh. man. I appreciate always, you. I always appreciate you. it. Yeah, he always preached it, man. If you stick and stay, you'll get your pay, and you know what I mean. So I'm. One hundred percent. I'm getting plugged uh, back in, and and that's it. I just wanted to chime in and say what's up again. A hundred, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. So definitely appreciate uh, the transparency um, that you gave, uh, and that's what it's about, man. Never quit. You know, never quit. You're gonna have those down moments. Is life. Uh, we all go through issues in life, and that's why we stress personal development so much to kind of get you over those humps in life. And um, it's going to happen, but don't quit. Don't quit on yourself. Winners never quit. You know, that's what quitters do. So about that. You know, it's crazy. So I've been doing this for four years. And, you know, uh, if you went to college for four years, typically you would graduate in four years, right? And so a lot of people, like, you can't graduate as a freshman. You can't graduate as, as, as a freshman. So it's like when people see me, they want to be me. You know, they want to, you know, trade places with me. They want my lifestyle or whatever. But they don't know I've been doing this for four years, not for four days. Like, I've been showing up for, for, for myself. If you go on my Instagram page, look at how many posts that I have. Do you know how many times I got to come up, think of content? To, 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 to bless the audience with, to bless my followers with? Like, that takes a lot. You see what I'm saying? Like, think about, I mean, there are people dying left and right. I got family members dying left and right. I still have to have that mental toughness. Like, I got to keep going. So it's like a lot of, so it's like things will happen to you. But then it's like, what are you going to do about it? Like, what are you going, what, what you going to stop? I mean, this man drove from, from Cali to Florida. It took him 11 days. I can't even imagine doing that. 11 days. He got a brand new baby with about three months, right? When they move. So it's like everybody's going through something. And so here's what I noticed. Whatever you were going through, somebody got it worse. Like, yeah. I remember I used to complain about not having tennis shoes until I found, you know, uh, my mentor told me about someone who had no feet. So here hmm. I am complaining about shoes, and here's somebody that ain't got no damn feet. So it's like, what am I complaining about? Like, whatever you going through, somebody going through worse. So it's like, you, you just have to quit complaining. Like, like complaining, like, I don't want to be around people complaining. Because you can only complain once around me. After that? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's the solution? Don't be around me complaining. Like, you, like you, <laughs> I, I'm trying to smoke hookah, man. You're killing my vibe, man. <laughs> be complaining around me. Complain once. And then we, 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 we are talking about all solutions. So yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I got. Fo focus on the solution. Focus on the solution. You know, and that's just real talk. You know, transparency, focus on solutions, not about complaining. I mean, you guys are going through a lot. Some people lost their jobs. Some people lost loved ones. Some people went through a lot in life. 
but you can't focus on a problem, focus on a solution, focus on where you're trying to go. So there's a lot of people on here looking for a solution, looking to take their life to the next level. They're sick and tired of doing the same thing. They're sick and tired of living picture to picture. You're sick and tired of living the same life. You're sick and tired of telling your kids, no, that you can't buy in this. You can't take him there. You're tired of that. If that's you, you want to take your life to the next level, send me the word deep, direct message me. Send me an inbox. The words uh, ready. Or you can comment here, ready. DM me the words ready. Um, so that when we have a conversation, if you're coachable, you're willing to invest into yourself, you're tired of living the same life, you want 2021 to be better than 2020, Inbox me the words ready. We'll have a conversation. As long as you're willing to invest into yourself, we'll take your life to the next level. So absolutely, um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a winner. A lot of people have been engaging, man. Um, who have been engaging the most? It's a lot of money, but I'm going to say this. Why are you looking for that person? Uh, if this was easy, everybody would do it. Guys, just think about that. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Like You, you want to do something that challenges you to grow. The only time you grow is when you're uncomfortable. So what makes you uncomfortable? Going live made me uncomfortable. Now I go live like it's nobody's business. But at one point in time, it, so you got to face your fears. What are you afraid of? Yeah. Fear. Face everything and rise. That's yeah. it. I mean, right. you gotta, so it's like you can't, I mean, you can't, everybody got fears. But <laughs> you got to get over that. So, again, if it was easy, everybody would do it i mean if people are not nagging you if people are not calling you a scam like people don't complain about good stuff like and then this is our last tip they cannot hit a moving target you got to keep moving they cannot hit a moving target so it's like the only reason people can get to you is when you stop moving that's it that's it that's it that's it so I see we got a lot of people inboxing me right now already. I'm only going to mentor. I'm only going to mentor 10 people. Being real with you guys. I'm only going to mentor 10 people. That's it. After that, that's it. I'm only going to mentor 10 people. That's it uh, for 2021. So that's you. You want to get mentored? Inbox me the words ready right now so that I can keep track of it. Um, and I have myself and my team reach out to you. You got to be willing to invest into yourself. You got to be coachable. Uh, we'll help with the mindset part. Um, and again, just have the right mindset. So I'm about to choose the winner, but I see a couple of people inboxing me. I'm gonna give you guys a chance. I'm only gonna mentor 10 people um, to take your life to the next level. If you need help with your credit, um, you wanna get a house, you wanna get a car, inbox me the words credit. And I have myself and my team reach out to you, set an appointment and um, help you level up with your credit. So, um, so I'm about to choose a winner, right? I'm about to choose a winner. Uh, so let me go ahead and I'm going to pull you guys up. I'm going to pull you guys up, whoever I select, um, and we'll, we'll go from there. See a lot of people. Let me make sure. Uh, give me one moment. All right, cool. So many blessings to Coach Legend, man. Did a phenomenal job giving you guys some game, uh, taking your life to the next level. Give you guys a lot of gems, so definitely don't take it for granted. But I'm gonna go on live with someone. Um, I'm gonna choose the winner, so let's be ready to get uh, to go on live. So I'm gonna choose somebody. I'm gonna choose somebody. Du -du 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 -du. Let's see. I'm looking for this individual. Us. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Make sure you drop your cash app name below. It doesn't matter how you look if you get chosen. So if you get chosen, you wanted the winner. So I'm going to select a few people. So are you ready to fix your credit, Alyssa? Alyssa, inbox me. Inbox me the words ready, Alyssa. Alyssa Moore. Inbox me the words ready. Inbox me the words ready. Alyssa Sophie. So I'm, I'm choosing T Tika Love right now. Check your request. I'm if not, I'm going to move on to the next person. So Tika Love. Tika underscore love. I'm requesting you. So it's waiting for you. Going once, going twice, three times. Okay, next person. 
Um, do, 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 do. All right, so we're going to go live. And choose the next person. You're going to see a request that said requested to go live. If you see that request, you're one of the winners. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. How, how I'm about you? to cry. <laughs> how are you? How are you doing? Oh, I am so. Oh, my God. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> how are you? Wow. I'm doing, I'm doing great. I'm doing oh my great. God. How are you? What's your name, by the way? Don't cry, don't cry. Don't make me cry. Don't cry. Okay. Don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> um, what I'm trying to hold it in. Okay. Whew. I know it's a little dark at my house. So. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> what's, what's your name? My name is Angela. Angela? Okay. Angela, yes. my name is Eugene. I'm excited. You've been engaging, following all the rules. And I mean, hopefully, you was able to bless you. Some of the information that you was able to hear, some of the gems that you was able to hear. Um, yes. and I just want you to name one thing. I'm going to, uh, just make sure you inbox me a cash app name. I'm, uh, bless you. But I just want you to share one thing that you're grateful for this year. Um, oh, in okay. 2021, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful to, um, have all my family with me, my kids Correct. during this COVID-19. Um, Correct. you know, we don't have much, but we have each other. Correct, correct, correct. You know, and, and, and that's important. Wow. For me. Wow, wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, that's really important, man. Family is everything, especially in 2020. A lot of people lost loved ones, things like right. that. You got to have a family. And, you know, it looks like you have some goals that you're looking to take your life to the next level, right? Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, I've... First thing I want to do, definitely fix my credit. Okay. Um, I, I did um, DM you and okay. you know, inbox you. Okay. Um. I think that's the first thing that I definitely need to do. And, okay. um, you know, I have goals and those goals, you know, I want to do it for my family, for me and my family. You and your family. You know, I'm just, wow. yes. Wow, wow. We'll definitely have a conversation. We'll definitely help you put you in a position to win and take your life to the next level. Um, congratulations okay. again. So I'm going to uh, Thank you. just inbox me your cash app name as well. I'm going to bless you. Me, myself, and my team will reach out to you as well. Okay. Congratulations. I'm just going to wish you many blessings, peace, and prosperity for 2021. As um, long as you're willing to, you know, invest into yourself, take a chance to yourself. One thing I can tell you, your life will go to the next level. So congratulations again, Angela. Thank you. Blessings your way. You're welcome. Okay. So I'm going to select somebody else. I'm going to select another winner to get blessed with Cash App. Um, a lot of people have been asking questions on this live feed about credit, how we can help you with your credit, what advice about credit. Um, if you're looking to invest into yourself to get your credit fixed, if that's you, inbox me the words credit, DM me the words credit right now. Um, we're going to be helping a few people get their credit in order today um, until midnight. Uh, inbox me the word credit, um, and we'll be able to assist you. Now, um, I think we have a promo going on. I don't know if we got a promo going on. It ends at midnight for the credit part, but we'll check on that. If you guys want to take advantage of that, uh, inbox me the words credit. And we'll definitely uh, bless you guys and get you guys taken care of with a great promo for New Year. Um, second thing I want to bring up, um, a lot of people have been asking about business, you know, questions, things like that. Um, if you want to learn more how to be a referral partner with us to get your credit restored, um, earn income at the same time, um, to be able to position yourself, to leave a legacy, build generational wealth. You're sick and tired of living paycheck to paycheck. You're sick and tired of doing the same thing over and over again. Um, not living life on your own terms. If that's you, inbox me right now. Like I said, I'm only taking 10 people. Um, you you got to be coachable. You got to be willing to invest into yourself, for one. Um, and you got to have the right mindset to really help people. If that's you, inbox me the words ready. Um, I'm only going to take 10 people to mentor. That's it. But inbox me the words ready. And um, I'll go ahead and we'll have a conversation. Um, but... I'm only taking 10 people. So after that, that's it. That's all I'm taking for this quarter of the year for 2021. To take your life to the next level. That's it for any referral partners that we're going to bring on board that's willing to join our team, um, to partner with us within our team, and we'll mentor you to take your life to the next level. We're only taking 10 people. After that, that's it. Um, you know, just want to make sure we, we devote a lot of time, mentor this group the right way so we can take your life to the next level for you and your family. So if you guys want to be a referral partner, you're willing to invest into yourself, you're coachable, 
You're tired of living the same life. You want to level up for 2021. Inbox me the words ready. Um, I'm only going to be selecting 10 people. After that, that's it. You got to be ready to partner with us and get mentored uh, immediately to be able to lock in your spot. One thing I can tell you for sure, we're going to be creating more success stories. We're looking to create more six-figure earners. We're looking to create more seven-figure earners, right? And it's not going to happen overnight, right? It's going to happen overnight. It's putting the work in. If you're not afraid to work and really help people, really pour into people. Um, if that's you, you want to get mentored, inbox from the words ready, and we'll have a conversation and we'll get you guys started. You guys will be able to partner with our team um, as well. Uh, one of the benefits are you, you do get your credit restored when you're partnering with us. So, um, But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and select another winner. So go ahead and share this to 10 people. I'm about to wrap up. I'm going to hop off here in the next two minutes. I'm going to bring on the next person. Next person, next person. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the share button below. There's an arrow below. Hit that button below. Share this to 10 people right now. And drop your cash app name below. Drop it below. Drop your cash app name below. And hit the love button. Hit the love button. I'm going to see who's engaging the most. Um, yep. Hit the cash app below. Let's see who we're going to select. Let's see who we're going to select. Drop your cash app name below. Drop it below. Drop it below. Drop your cash app below. I'm going to select somebody. I'm going to select somebody. I'm going to select somebody. You share this to 10 people. Quick, 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 quick. And also, make sure after this live, make sure you guys are following me. Make sure you guys are following my page. Um, you turn your notification on because I may do another cash giveaway later on. So people that didn't win, I'm going to be doing cash giveaways in the future. So we'll be blessing people. Hmm. Let's see who do we have. I see some people dropping names. Let's go. I'm excited as well, man. I'm super excited. I'm telling you, man, what we was able to do last year in 2021, we had so many people able to earn six figures, um, purchase their house, their dream house, get their credit in order. Uh, man, I'm just looking forward to doing the same thing this year with a lot of people. So let me go ahead and select this person so I can hop off. Valerie, how are you? We got to have a conversation in 2021. Uh, we got to bless a lot of people. Um, we got to help a lot of people in 2021, uh, Valerie. So I know you're busy up there in New York, but we got to do an event um, to really go out there and just educate the masses about financial literacy, how to build wealth. Um, we bring a lot of stuff to the table. I bring stuff to the table. Um, and I mean, I'm looking to change at least 5,000 people lives this year. That's my goal. I'm just like Coach uh, Legend mentioned. So let's let's get together. Send me an inbox, Valerie, and uh, we'll have a conversation. We'll put an event together. Um, obviously, it'll be virtual, <laughs> a Zoom event, and probably do something together, really educate the people. I think that would be dope. Um, I think 2020 was an eye-opener for a lot of people. So I think, you know, us doing the event together, really give people free game, give them knowledge, so they can learn how to level up and take their life to the next level. Um, that'd be something that's dope. That'd be a great, great event. And I love everything that you're doing. I always follow your page as well. So keep making it happen. Much success to you, Valerie. Many blessings your way. Hope God prosper you with everything that you want and desire and continue to do your work and mentor people. So cool. So let me select this next person here. Um, hope you guys drop your cash at name. I'm going to select. So I'm going to select this next person. Let me say, you, you may have to, let me see this person. You may have to, uh, let me see. All right, so I'm selecting you right now. I'm selecting you right now. So. There you go. Hey. Oh, uh, there <laughs> you go. Is it Tika? Tiaka. Tiaka, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm um, doing amazing. Too blessed to be stressed. I want to tell you congratulations. 
um, on you. being selected. You was engaging. You, you here to the end of it. Hopefully, you was able to get a lot of value um, oh, from the information. And I'm um, just really quick. What city and state do you live? Where, where do you live? I live in Aliquippa. It's in Pennsylvania. It's a very small, small, little city. For real? Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And again, I do want to apologize. I walked away from the phone and you picked me. So I was getting, you know, a little emotional, like I missed it, but. Yeah. I okay. It. And really quick, I want you to, you know, name, you know, you was on here the whole time. What did you learn? What was one gem or one nugget that you, you know, kind of, you know, remember um, from the live that we just had? One nugget. Um, a huge nugget is don't give up. Um, a huge nugget that, you know, I always get nuggets when I listen to Coach Legend, but a huge, huge one, even his friend, by, you know, interacting with us as well, mm -hmm. they both stress the fact that don't give up. Keep pushing. Mm -hmm. No matter what, you know, no matter where you come from, no matter what you've been through, you know, it's a spot at the top for everybody. So Correct. I'm working my way up that way, too. You know, it, it's all huge nuggets when you listen to him. No, 100%. So many blessings, man. Congratulations again. Um, I'm going to inbox you after this live. And um, congratulations. Super, super excited Thank for you. you. Many blessings your way. So, um, but yeah, so I inbox you as soon. well. Congratulations again. Uh, let's make it happen. Peace. Awesome. So, congratulations again. Um, super excited for you guys. For everyone that's on here. For everyone that's on here, it, it, again, I'm going to be doing more uh, giveaways in the future. So make sure you follow me. Make sure notification is on. Um, and again, I mean, you guys are definitely going to be able to participate and win. Um, but we gave you guys some free game. Some free game, some free game. So, um, but yeah, so hopefully you was able to answer all your questions. You need help with credit. Inbox me the word credit. Um, we got a promo that we're doing right now. Actually... Um, until midnight for New Year's. So if you guys want to take advantage of the promo, inbox me the words credit, um, and we'll have myself and my team reach out to you about the promo that we're doing. Um, other thing that we're going to do, other thing that we're going to do uh, for people that's looking to partner with us, join our team, um, I'm only mentoring 10 people, inbox me the words. We qualify to make sure you're a good fit, but we're only taking 10 people today only. That's it for the rest of the year. Uh, inbox me the words ready and we'll have a conversation myself and my team we'll have a conversation with you um, let's see but yeah so I'm going to choose one more person One more person. I'm not bored, by the way, guys. I have hair. I just like I'm snacks, sorry. It's so. super dark in here. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. So, um, I know you've been watching this the whole time. Yes, um, I you got a powerful story. I know you mentioned that you lost your job. You're a single mom. Um, so, I just want to be able to, you know, be able to bless you. So, what I want you to do really quick, because um, yes. I got to hop off here. Okay. Um, I do got to go to another meeting. Okay. Uh, I want you to... You know, what city and state are you from, your name, and um, what's one thing that you took away from this live today? Okay, so my name is Yaso. I'm from Miami, Florida, but I'm in Vegas right now. Mm. What I I'm from Miami, so you're from my hometown. I'm from, I'm from, mm -hmm. I, live, I used to live in Miami Gardens. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by, man. By uh, Tootsie's. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, what high school um, did you go to? What high school Miami Dade, though? I lived all over. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, what I learned here is uh, the fact of investing into yourself. No matter what, if you have to put off a pair of shoes, whatever that you don't need, things that you don't need in life, you don't necessarily need to go have because trying to show off to other people to like prove that you need things in life or you need to like met match what they have. You don't really necessarily need to do that, especially if you're broke, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's, damn, it's like I forgot everything I got on here. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. Like, I'm sorry. Wow.
Ooh, but um, man, I want to tell you congratulations um, on winning, man. It, it sounds like you're trying to make a change. And when I can tell you, man, don't don't be afraid to take a chance on yourself. That's one advice I'll give you. Um, do it, do it scared. You know, have fear. Let, let that push you. Um, yeah. you being a single mom, I could definitely resonate with that. I'm not a mom myself, um, mm-hmm. but I see my sister go through that. Well, she's a single mom too, and she changed her life and doing really, really well. Purchased a house. Credit is a one. Um, but she took a chance on herself and did did it afraid. So. I want to tell you congratulations again. Um, inbox me your cash app name because I did have a lot of people comment on here. So I want to make sure I get to you guys. Tika, inbox okay. me your cash app name. And a Boss Lee, I believe, inbox me your cash app name. So congratulations again. I'm going to see you guys' instructions. Um, and, man, super excited for you. 2021 is going to be a great year for you. Thank you. You too. Many blessings. You're welcome. We'll talk soon. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. All right, well, I'm going to hop off. Super excited, man. I hope you guys got a lot of great nuggets on here. Um, man, we're just looking to make a, a big impact, impact over money. Um, that's the main thing that we're trying to do in 2021. Um, and again, man, let's all work together. Let's make an impact. Um, let's take it to the next level. So with that being said, enjoy your Saturday. God bless. I'll see you guys at the top.